Hey guys, we're out here on Shasta Lake today. It's uh, the end of June and we're targeting king salmon. Uh, the king salmon fishery on Shasta Lake is a, a growing fishery. Uh, we didn't have a lot of plants um, in, in recent years, but the last two years we had some really good plants, 70 plus thousand fish um, each April. And so what we're seeing now is we're seeing some some, you know, a lot of really small uh, kings that they planted this April, but we're also starting to see some of the, the holdover kings that are anywhere from two to four pounds. Forty. Thirty. I can see it. I can see the lure. No, he's there. I see his tail. Oh, oh nice one. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh, take the time with that one. Lift the rod tip up. Lift up, lift up. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Right on. King salmon. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, hello. All right, guys, we got a Shasta Lake King Salmon here. This looks like a, a three-year-old. Uh, we've been getting steady plants the last uh, couple years. One of the the most effective techniques that I've found for catching these kings this time of year is um, using the Brad's uh, kokanee cup plugs and the Brad's uh, mini cup plugs. And one of the reasons they're so effective uh, is because we can use these cavities to insert baits, um, insert scents, and so we're leaving a really good scent trail behind these baits and the kings are responding to them um, quite well. One of the things that we use today to, to catch these fish is a, a concoction of just your regular canned tuna and that's in oil. You want to use the, the tuna in oil and a good mix of the Potsky's Bait Company Firepower. And that's a, that's a powdered krill and uh, salmon love krill, salmon love tuna. So combining these two things has, has proven to be very, very effective. He popped off. No, he's there. Swing him over this way. Look. Oh, he's better than, way better than the last one. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Uh, the way that you set up your, your baits here, it's pretty simple. You open the cavity. The cavity is opened um, all by itself. They come with a scent pad in them. I like to remove the scent pads because I want to make room for uh, my bait. So I just take a pinch of tuna. It doesn't have to be a ton. In fact, you don't want to you don't want to overstuff the cavity because you can break some of the hinge points on these if you do overstuff it. I can smell it now, krill, tuna, good stuff. There you went. Keep it coming. Ooh. Ooh. Holy. We were just talking about big rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, another, probably my favorite way to spice these things up is to add the Posky Fire Gel. And the Posky Fire Gel is a very viscous um, scent and when it applied to this cavity, uh, it holds up really well. In fact, one application of the Posky Fire Gel, um, today we used the, the anchovy scent and we also used the shad scent. Uh, one application is gonna last you pretty much all day. Um, if, if you decide that one of your rigs is getting a bit more than, than the other, uh, you know, feel free to, to rinse out the, the fire gel out of your bait and just reapply um, a different scent. Um, so basically what I do here is I just take a nice chunk of scent and I'm going to add it to this cavity. Smooth it over. You can add as much as you want. You fill the whole cavity. It doesn't impede on the action of these lures at all and it just makes them fish better. So once you close it up, you fix your rubber band to close the tail. Now if you'll notice on this bait it's got some slots in it and 
it's it's an opening for uh, scent to um, egress from this bait and it works really well good one now Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Lake Shasta, where we've been dozens of times. Why do we keep coming back here? Well, frankly, it's one of the best fisheries in all of California, and it's multi-species, whether it's cold water or warm water, and most of the time we've come out here and go after brown trout and rainbow trout. However, recently the state of California has invested in basically rejuvenating what used to be a good inland Chinook population here. Now, there was no stocking in 2016. 17 and 18. Uh, fortunately, they resumed stocking in 2019 and 2020, where we're told they stocked 75,000 inland Chinook each year from four to five inches long. Now, those fish were basically Feather River fish. They took them over to the coast near the Rat Mad River hatchery and raised them before they released them here in Lake Shasta. Now, before anybody calls us out, remind you, we know this used to be a great Chinook fishery. However, in the last decade or so, it hasn't been known for that. It's been known mostly for trout, as in rainbows and browns. However, today we came out with Jeff Goodwin at Jeff Goodwin's Guide Service, and we said, Jeff, let's do a little experimenting and see how far this fishery is from becoming another great inland Chinook fishery like maybe Orville, Don Pedro, Almanor, you know, other places in the state of California that also receive these fish. Sure enough, it didn't take long to find out that we're only about a year away from what could be one of the best inland Chinook programs in the Western United States. Now remember, they've only been here a couple years. We don't even have a full grown adult class here. And we caught fish up to about four to five pounds today, which means, remember this is 2020. Come back in 2021 and you could see seven to eight pound inland Chinook here in Lake Shasta. Now, you saw Jeff Goodwin today. He used two things, basically a few spoons, but he used mostly Brad's cut plugs and he put a lot of Potsky fire gel on that. Whether it was the anchovy or the shad, he lathered it up and brought us into success all day long. Now, we only caught about seven or eight keepers. However, we caught 30 shakers, which are gonna be keepers next year, showing that the future of this fishery is phenomenal and all you guys can look forward to is better, bigger, harder fighting fish here in Northern California's future. What a great scouting day it was for awesome things to come. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.